great price, even compared to last week at 95 cents per pound. Now it's 149 per package for this strawberries, and I believe that's cheaper than last week. Between the cost of groceries, gas, inflation, and the recession, now more than ever, every penny counts. So I'm starting a new series called The Weekly Walkthrough. I'm gonna be going to all of my local grocery stores, walking through all the sales to see what we can stock up on, to share knowledge and how we can meal prep more, stock up on sale items, and really try to cut back on our grocery spending. Because now more than ever, we need to encourage each other, share information, and just be there for one another because I don't see these prices coming down anytime soon. So if this interests you, make sure to hit that like button, join my YouTube family, and enjoy. Make sure to leave comments so that we can encourage one another and share any tips or tricks that we have to save during these times. Hello friends. So we are outside of Aldi right now. I only need to get four or five things from Aldi and also to do our weekly walkthrough just to see the prices. They did send like a little flyer to the house. Like you know how you get your local flyers or whatever. I forgot to look at it, but I have my handy dandy flip app. So I'm gonna look through here. I see off the bat that strawberries are 149 per package, which is great. Grapes are 95 cents per pound, which is a great price. It's cheaper than what Kroger was this week. Of course you have your Aldi finds, girl. That's where I get a little bit, you know, I forget. <laughs> and I'll see something I want, I'll just get it. Um, but we're trying to focus on the groceries here. Those are like the two things. I noticed that the frozen food section has been sparse a lot lately at Aldi. I don't know if that has to do with any of the food processing plant fires that have been going on, which is just wild. If you didn't know, like at least maybe 15 food processing plants have just burned to the ground in the last 18 months or so, which is just wild. And that is another reason that's, um, you know, food prices are going up. I remember I seeing a comment from you guys about the chicken fingers uh, my kids like them. they're called chicken fries they look like french fries but they're chicken fingers they used to be 4.99 now they're 7.99 and i wonder if that has to do with any, uh, with the uh, food processing plant fires anyway let's get into all these see what they have i forgot to bring my extra bags good thing i keep one in my purse but th this should fit everything that i need to get so let's get in there it's a really good price for a pool 169.99 12 by 30 and this is 69.99 10 by 30. Wow, this is nice. It comes with a little side chair on it too. How much is that? The director's chair. Oh, 48.99. That's not bad. I love these hanging pots. I think they're so pretty. 7.49. Oh, they still have the A chair. I think this was from like last week or the week before last. I wonder how much it is now. I'm gonna go over and look. It's all clearance for 224.99. Oh, I'm tempted, y'all. I'm so tempted. I gotta call my husband and ask him about this. Should I do it or should I not? Oh, I don't have the space in my car for this big box, but that's a good price because usually they're $250. So, well, is it a great price? If it was under $200, I feel like that would be a great price, right? I don't know. Where are they out? All the clearance stuff for outdoors. This is $179. Fire pit. Oh, look at that fire pit. That's pretty. $179. Oh, some clearance for $139.99. And this little chair is on clearance for $18.79. I wonder if they'll come down a little bit more. It's a really pretty outdoor caddy for like your plates and napkins and stuff. So cute. $19.99. I need a new pineapple cutter because ours broke. It's only $4.99, so I'm gonna get it. These are cute pajamas. Just peachy. $9.99 for the set. It's cute. I have like a million pairs though, girl. I really know. I know that I don't need any more. Reusable shopping bags like this one. I'm so glad I had this in my purse. This is the Aaron, the Aaron Condren one. $1.99? That's not bad. How big is it? Oh, you could use it three different ways? Wait. No, no. That's how you put it back in the pouch. Now, what are these for? I like the pattern. I just... They're called home round or square floor pillow. I have a floor pillow so you just sit on the floor with it. I saw this in the flyer. This top pizza oven. You can put it on your grill. $39.99. 20 inch planter. $24.99. It's pretty. I want to get something for our front patio. I just don't, I'm, I just don't know the size. I don't want to get anything too big or too small. I have to really measure it. Hmm. Three, oh, is, it, is this a neck fan? Oh, it is a neck fan. Cute. I have one I bought from Kroger for $9.99. Had I known. This is only $3.99. How is it 3 in one? Hmm. You can clip it. 
Oh, you could use it as a stand fan too. Cute. Stacking planters. Remember these from last week? Now they're 9.99. I guess a lot of people. Don't a lot of people are over the planting season. Strawberries, 149, definitely the best price. Kroger was over, I spent a lot at Kroger, like 250 or so. No, there were 350, but they were organic. But even the non-organic ones, I think were like 250. This is a great price, even compared to last week at 95 cents per pound. Now it's 149 per package for this strawberries, and I believe that's cheaper than last week. Apple's only 179 I think I paid 250 at Kroger. Kroger really got me this week, and I was hungry, so I just bought it. Thought I should have waited, but it is what it is. Now we know. Okay, so now the organic strawberries are more expensive at $3.99. They weren't that much at Kroger, and neither were the organic blueberries. Sometimes the, the produce here at Aldi, it's like a hit or miss. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't, so it's like you gotta kind of decide. Maple French Toast Bagels. What? I know these are good. They're $2.89. They're a little bit more expensive than the regular bagels. Baby, that is carb heaven right there. As I said last week, listen, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this, again, has something to do with the food processing plants burning down, but the cost of chips has risen. Even here at Aldi, they used to be around $1.20. Now they're $1.75 for a non-name brand bag of chips. The regular name brand bags are like $5 now. It's nuts. Even these Clubhouse crackers have gone up to $2.75. Now the regular name brand Club crackers are almost close to $5 now, but Ava really likes these. Pretzels, even the pretzels have gone up. $1.47, they don't have the pretzel sticks though. That's what my girls, oh here they are, pretzel sticks. $1.47, wow, it's nuts. These are nice. Shade lights, $3.99 each. I need a ring cushion so bad because, especially my office, my, my tailbone hurts really bad if I sit in the chair. I hate, my office chair aesthetically is beautiful, but from my back, tears it up. So I'm gonna get one of these. Oh, look at these bra bags for your laundry. Huh. That's convenient. Wow, baking pizza stone, that's nice. $9.99. These candles are so pretty. I love the containers that they're in. Right? Only $5.99 on clearance. Ooh, look at these fridge liners. This is what I need. I wonder if they have different sizes though. Easy to clean. It feels like hard plastic. $4.99. I love the Aldi brand whipped cream cheese. So good. Went up on price as well. It's now $1.35. I want to say it used to be like $1.20 or $1.19 or something like that. Anyway, it's still way cheaper than a block of cream cheese. Even the, um, then, um, I shouldn't say any block. Like these blocks here are 82 cents, but the blocks of like Philadelphia cream cheese, girl, almost $3. Who's buying that? Not me. We have skim milk for $1.80. I really don't buy milk often because it'll go bad before we drink the whole thing. A quarter milk for a dollar five, that's really cheap. But I used to get organic milk from here when Ava would drink it for $3.65. That's not bad actually. Oh, three forty five the whole milk. This is the one with the omega-3. This milk lasts a lot longer, but like that's when Ava, like I said, was drinking it, I would buy it from here. But let's look to see what they, about the frozen section. Now, these chicken strips right here, my girls love these. They're so good. You can pop them in the air fryer themselves or put them in the microwave and they, they don't come out soggy. They're still pretty crispy. But I wanted to get like a smaller nugget. These chicken breasts, oh now the price of those went up to $8. I'm telling you, put these chicken breast fillets in the air fryer, it tastes just like a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A or something like that. It's really good, actually. What's this one? This is must be new. Or, oh, oh, herb and herb crusted chicken breast fillet. That one's eight ninety nine. Boy, I don't know how many you get in the bag. Uh, it doesn't say how many you get, but a pound. Those other ones, they're battered. Hmm, huh, that looks good. Battered, tender shaped chicken breast patties. Those are five ninety nine. I just want to get like a bag of nuggets or something. Hmm, let me see. Sometimes they have them over here. Let's see. Okay, here they go. Uh, made with white meat only. Okay. Okay, there's a resealable bag inside. Because if it's just like a box like this, it, it's going to be a no. Because it just takes up too much space in my freezer. I will get those. Let me just see what else they have, though. Oh, $9.99, girl. What? Yeah. They have Blue Bell ice cream. $7.44. Woo. Is that a normal price for a gallon? I don't know, it's been so long since I bought like a gallon of ice cream. I usually buy like the little <clears throat> pints. 
if we do get it. The hash browns here. My girls stopped eating the hash browns. They were eating them for a while and I would buy them from here. You get 20 for $3.99. It's a great quick and easy breakfast. Oh man. Oh no, that's, that's fish. You see the breaded wild cod. Breaded fish sticks, $3.59. Beer battered cod fillets. I bet you those are good. I haven't tried the frozen fish from here before. Have you guys? Leave a comment down below and let me know. All right, so what am I gonna get? Should I get these? Honey batter breast tenders for $5.99 or get that big box for $9.99. Oh wait, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Now the girls like these. Here we go. All right, maybe I'll get a bag of the nuggets and then a bag of the popcorn chicken because I know they like those. The nuggets are, well, let's see. This is a better deal because those bags are each one pound each. This is three and a half pounds for $9.99, $17.9 cents per ounce. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. Okay, so the popcorn chicken is 27 cents per ounce. And these Kirkwood chicken breast nuggets are 17.3 cents per ounce. So, hmm. I'm just gonna still get this box because it's bigger. I absolutely hate it when I do this. So girl, don't you know I forgot to get the spaghetti, which was one of the main reasons why I came here to stock up on my spaghetti. Uh, so now I already checked out now the line is long. I'm gonna have to stand back in line for a box of spaghetti. Oh my gosh, wow, the price went up. Oh, they don't have regular spaghetti? I don't want angel hair. I don't want angel hair. Mm. I just want regular spaghetti. I'm not gonna get it. Good, I'm, that means I don't have to stand in that line. <laughs> Before we get into the next part of the video, I'd like to thank Fa Factor for sponsoring today's video. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. And when you're trying to take control of your health and your nutrition, or maybe you wanna eat ketogenically, like I like to eat, it can be really overwhelming about where to start, what to eat, and where to begin. And having something like Factor really makes it easier because the food is delivered delivered fresh to you like you don't have to worry about portion control or you know creating a meal plan or making sure that it fits whatever you're trying whatever your goal is um, that you're trying to create and so it's really hard fitness starts with food and factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious purposeful eating you know factor offers keto calorie smart chef's choice and vegan options which include seafood meat and plant-based meals. They support wholesome eating that's made simple. It's not processed. Like I said, the food is fresh and it, it, it takes the guesswork out of at least one meal that you'll be eating that day. So it's definitely, definitely worth it, especially when you're trying to take control of your health and you really don't know where to start. When you're short on time, this is amazing to just be able to take these out of your fridge, pop them in the microwave, and then you have fresh food. Okay, and they taste delicious. I mean, my husband and I eat them and we, we eat ketogenically from time, sometimes. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's so easy to have these in your fridge waiting for you, especially when you get hungry. Head to go.factor75.com slash GIA120 and use the code GIA120 to get $120 off. All right, so I'm back from Aldi. This is what I got. Clubhouse crackers whipped cream cheese. I got the pineapple cutter. I'm gonna test it out with you guys. I'll, I'll film it today because I have a pineapple that I bought from um, Kroger earlier this week. Blueberries, strawberries, pretzels, bagels, the chicken nuggets, and I also got this ring cushion. This was $9.99. Hopefully it'll help. I'll show you guys how it looks on my chair. Okay, all together, it was a grand total of $37.59. So obviously the most expensive things were the chicken nuggets, they were $9.99, and then that ring cushion was $9.99, and then the pineapple slicer was $4.99. Now how that all adds up to 40 bucks, I don't know, but honey, these things are creeping. The prices of everything is just creeping up crazy. So that is the Aldi walkthrough for this week. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Do you go to Aldi? I know a lot of you guys said in the last Aldi walkthrough that you're getting an Aldi soon and you can't wait to go. But for those that do go to Aldi, do you shop uh, every week? And also, do you have a lot, a large family? Like, do you have a lot of people in your household to feed? Because it's kind of hard at Aldi because the quantities are smaller, kind of like Trader Joe's, you know? Like, I know 
Ava can eat this, uh, these strawberries alone in like two or three days. So I can only imagine if you had a large family with a lot of people who like fruit and stuff, how expensive it could get. It's like better to go to Costco. But in case you were curious, this is what the resealable bag looked like in this box because the box takes up so much space, but this is easier for me to fit in our freezer in here and not the deep freezer outside. All right, so here's the chair that I was telling you guys about. I aesthetically think this chair is stunning. It's really pretty, right? Girl, this chair tears my butt up. And I don't know if it's my homegrown natural juicy booty that just makes it go down. Like, I feel like I'm sitting on a piece of wood, honestly. So hopefully this will help. Let's see. Okay. Actually, wow. It's a huge difference. Sorry about the mess, but it is a huge difference. This definitely worth it because I searched for like ring cushions for your chair and they're like all over $15. So I think this was a good deal. Anyway, let's go ahead and test this pineapple slicer out. Here is what it looks like out of the box. Nice rubber handle by Crofton. Crofton is Aldi's brand. It's like Aldi's Kirkland's. Like what Kirkland's is to Costco is what Crofton is to Aldi. This is like a lot sturdier than the one that I had, but it's supposed to create these type of slices for your pineapple, like so. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, y'all. So I filmed a short, a YouTube short on how I'm using this. It's like a little restock short. Works really well. It's a nice quality one. This one's a much better quality than the other one we had. So I'm just going to dice these rings. And then I'm also gonna film a short on what I'm gonna do with these pineapple rinds that I learned, oops, on TikTok to make yourself a nice immunity tea that's good for your immunity. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, that is it my friends. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me today, shopping the sales. I appreciate you guys watching my video. And make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.